team versus Plup. So the D team is Brandon Dorf, Ganondorf player. Uh, really good. Um, he just, uh, Bizarre Flim just joined SoCal, so we now have two Ganondorfs, but Brandorf, the Ganondorf player. Oh. Jace, uh, which is the Falcon player who recently moved from Midwest. Right. Um, you should know a lot about that, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Squid, the Falco player. He's uh, ranked 19th on the power ranking. Mm -hmm. And we also have Capri, who was formally ranked on there. Okay. All strong players. Yes. I, I'm going to post out the full uh, CB A team listings. Uh, very shortly after I commentate the set. But basically, it's what you guys expect. It's all the power rank players of yeah. SoCal, and they're all divided up to four teams. So how this is going to work, um, Larry needs to get off. Larry! Larry! <laughs> Larry hogging the stream. <laughs> okay. Um, get out of here, Larry. Get out of here, Larry. <laughs> so how this is going to work is that there are four plups versus four SoCal players, right? So there are 16 uh. stocks total between between bo both teams. So one team is Team Plup, another team is Team SoCal, and this is SoCal Team D. So each of those four players in SoCal have four stocks, and Plup has four stocks of four of him. So there's four, uh, like, he's effectively he, like cloned four locked? times. So he's not character locked, but okay. SoCal is. Okay. Basically, that's to make it fair since we have four separate characters, right. and, you know, he doesn't necessarily have that. He'd be locked into Samus. Yeah, Samus but Samus is godlike. But I mean, he's probably gonna go. I'm, I'm guessing right. he's gonna go Samus the whole way, regardless. Right. He does have a fox that uses against, especially Puff sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we might see that, uh, especially if he has if he has a big lead. Yeah. Uh, but so it looks like SoCal starting with Jace. Jace is gonna be the first person in for SoCal. It's gonna be Jace versus Plup. The cool thing about this format is that we're gonna see a lot of uh, different SoCal matchups against Plup. That's kind of right. why we, why we set That's it up. We, we want everyone wanted to play him. But right. we knew that like if, if we had a tournament, he'd only play a few of us, right? right. So yeah. with this format, everyone gets at least one game in on stream against him. Yeah. So we get to see the best. He is starting with Fox! He is starting with Fox. Interesting, against Jace, a Falcon player. Now, now we, His Fox is amazing. It's really good. We it's saw really him uh, playing Fox a lot when he was uh, I I playing friendlies over the weekend uh, right. at West Balls' place, at Hugs' place. Yeah. He was doing really well. Right. Um, it was taking games off pretty much everyone. So... But this this might be you know uh, him being a little too cocky. It's the D team, right? It's yeah. not the C, B, or A team, which everyone is kind of predicting yeah, him to lose he against. Feels, he feels like he doesn't need to go Samus against this team. Yeah. But we'll have to see. Mm hmm I do think his Fox will be able to stand its ground, but Jace is really good. Jace, Jace got third in really the good. last SSS. He did. Okay, oh, big nice back, back here in the face. Great. Now, of course, nice. he does have the opportunity to go Samus uh, for his next three, you know, characters, right? right? So he has that opportunity. But he does a ledge dash right on stage. Nair on Jace's shield, but Jace gets the shield grab. Is Sokka going to take an early lead? Oh. Ooh, maybe not. That was back here. That was oh. ambitious. I respect it. Yeah, I respect that also. <laughs> okay. Oh. Not going to kill quite yet. It takes until about 120%. For Falcon right. to die off the top on FD on, on Fox Up Smash. Right. So SoCal strikes first blood. The first stock goes to Jace. Jace looking pretty solid. He does look good. Plup trying to bait a reaction. Oh, he oh, gets nice. a roll out. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Once again, another roll, yeah. Jace. Yeah, kind of right, getting his movement controlled by Plup and his amazing Fox. All right, there it is. Yeah. And Plup is really good at waiting out and seeing. Your reaction, seeing yep. how seeing how you're gonna move out of shield, he'll punish you for it. And Samus kind of teaches you that, right? Samus teaches you that. Because a lot of times sure. you don't ha don't do moves at Samus. Yeah, she doesn't have the safest moves on shield. Yeah, she doesn't have the same pressure options. Yeah, it's all about weight and bait. And that's what his fox is about as well. All right, up throw combos. Maybe striking to FD wasn't the best thing for Jace, but he does get this. Oh, this is a big looking like yeah, look oh. That was almost a dark green combo. Yeah, we got a big crowd yeah. behind this. SoCal's cheering for the D team. Swamp to get taken out right now. Yep. I know there was a sh there was a poll we posted before this. It had like 200 responses. And the amount of people that thought the D team could do it was something like 2%. Oh, wow. So everyone thought Plot would get past this point at the very least. But Jace yeah, is showing. He, Jace is doing a solid job. Oh, man. He could get. Oh. oh. Barely misses. Oh, nice forward tilt. Nice forward tilt. Smart. That was a Samus F-Tilt, right? That was a Samus That was definitely a Samus F-Tilt. It was the last thing any Spacey player would have expected for or would sure, have done. For sure, for sure. But he'd do it. Oh, back air on him. Oh! Jace could dive off this? Yep. Maybe. Oh, oh he angle. gets the ledge on time. Plump goes to a one-stock lead with his Fox. Shine approach. Right. He's, he's kind of reading uh, Jace's movements with that. Jace, oh. at the very least, wants to... Take this stock. Doesn't want to give Plop a two stock advantage. Yeah. If he can Critical. at least at least take this stock. Right. If he takes if he loses this stock without taking one. It's huge. It's bad huge. news. Yeah. It's bad news for SoCal if, if that happens. Okay. Back here in the face. 
Oh. Right, this okay. should be it. Oh, maybe not. I feel like, oh. Uh, oh. oh, Jason's in trouble. SoCal's in trouble. Plump takes this stock. This is a bad situation. It's a right bad here. situation if he takes this stock. Ooh, big up air. He's just chasing us. Oh, he's, he's shield grabbed. Yeah, the Plump is baiting a lot of these reactions, yeah, but he gets the shield grab right there, yeah, there and that's it. it! That's a critical stock for SoCal! They needed that. They needed that. They, they needed that. that. Alright, Plump closes it out, yeah. but it's only a one stock league. One stock league doesn't mean yeah. much in crew battles, it right? Doesn't. Okay, so the next. Who is going to be next for SoCal Team D? So now we have. Uh, it's 13 stocks for Team Plump and 12 stocks for SoCal Team D. Right, and. This is entirely possible. You send somebody in, they might take out the stock real quick, and then the next game is just a four-stock to four-stock battle. So right, 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 right. So Plup will only have one stock going into this next match, and it'll go against four stocks of Squid. So Squid's got to take next. this stock out quick, and it's against a Fox. you got to right. keep in mind, he's, he's, he has to stay Fox for this one, and then he'll go into his next person, and he can switch to Thomas. Yeah. Okay, so it's one stock of Plup as Fox, and then against four stocks of Squid. You guys got it? All right. So it's, it's right now 13 stocks to 12 stocks. Okay. Got it? Yeah, I got it. What's his name? Squid? Huh? You do, um, uh, Squid. It's basically the person coming in, uh, the person that's still there, bans one stage, and the other uh, person thinks... It's an interesting it's choice to send guy. Squid in, because even if even if he does take out the Fox stock, then he's a Falco fighting a Samus. and. In general, a higher level Samus will bop a lower level Falco, in right, generally speaking. Right, right, right. And so I know Squid is actually quite weak in the Samus match, so I think he's, he's quite happy that Plump is going Fox right now. Yeah. Uh, just so he can wrap up this stock, get, get one on the board. Because uh, Squid has, has lost to Hugs many times. He's lost to uh, Mog X, a local, lo local uh, Samus also. Wow. So, uh, but he's also improved a lot ever yeah. since then. So you never know. Um, he's I very comfortable against Fox especially, so. Before I actually left to the... Oh, that's oh, bad. Oh, oh. That, oh, oh, but Plump makes it back. And he's cornered now. Uh, he reads his uh, back oh, nice on the way. Drop. Shield drop to downer. I love it. Falco gets a lot of shield, shield drops. Right. Something I definitely need to learn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stuff. Oh, very nice. He's just going to grab the He's going to make it back. Ah, no, not quite. Okay. So now Plump takes, right. his, takes a good stock right there. It'd be really good if Squid could take this without losing this. Yeah. Uh, losing two stocks is pretty bad. But pretty losing bad. One, losing one, you can come back for Yeah, right. Like we said, one stock leads aren't as much. Two right. stocks, that's kind of where, where you lose your momentum, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good back air. It looks like Squid's going to... Oh. No! Oh, and he's off stage! Oh, oh, but Plup doesn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been another critical momentum turn. That that's bad. why That's why a lot of people don't like using Falco in crew battles, because right. you lose stocks like that, that's huge for your team. Right. Falco's susceptible to that. Yeah, he is. Oh, okay, oh, he gets the back on the illusion. Back and he won't miss this oh, one. Okay. okay. Just roll on. All right, just again, Very Plup good. keeps his one stock lead. But, uh, you know, SoCal's still, still quite in it. Yep. D-team is still doing work. <laughs> All right, he's going Samus against Falco, that like we yeah, expected. I expected this. Yes. Oh, this Samus is out of control. Squid taking a deep breath. Yeah. Oh, so Squid's oh, got to kill himself. He forgot. <laughs> he forgot. <laughs> Naturally. No harm done, though. No harm done. All right, 12 socks to 11 socks. This could be the backbreaker. Squid's got to hold his own here. He does. Ooh, down air and shield. Look at that pressure. I like it. Oh, oh man! Nice. The call out. Okay, and, and that's oh, gonna be key. Nice, he nice cannot nice. get. <gasps> he can't get beat by up B out of shield. He can't. He's gotta be super safe with this pressure. When you start getting hit by up B out of shield, that's when. That's when things go when bad as Falco, right? Downhill. And there out of shield instead that time. Club cleans up oh, that stock. Nice. Now, one thing I've noticed, I think Club has the best back airs of any Samus. Yeah, and that move is so hard to sweet spot. It is very hard to sweet spot. He'll get it in edge guards, in combos. He'll get it right. in any situation. Okay, up beyond top platform. Squid has position, but he get, lets him nair down. Right. Down oh. offside platform. Plup is milking this lead a little bit. Squid's getting impatient. Yeah. Oh, oh, but he doesn't get hit by that charge. Another thing that Plup is extremely good at is using that charge shot. Right. He reads people's movements well, and he uses his charge shot for that, too. Right. Uh, that's another stock on for Squid. Right now he's only taking one off. 
He's got to at least look to they take this yeah, one. He yeah, has you to know. take at least one. He, he can't go for, uh, do an Ofer against the Salmas. Right. Okay. Back air spacing. It is generally harder to do that against Samus on this stage on Dreamland. Right. It'll be hard for him to take the stock. Right, right. Even though she's at 100. Okay, gets that back here. Nice. Like you said, though, there's like a good 50% left in, uh, in in Plump's vitality. Right. There's a lot left here. Squid's got to play really well. Gets I another like back here. Yeah, smart, Just smart. Play it, play it safe. Keeping his control. You missed that one, yeah, but you just keep keep reaching. Eventually, you'll get it. Right, right. At the same time, though, you can't let Salmas establish neutral position again. Right. You know, because one hit and and your your team is an even bigger deficit. A full man deficit. That's how, that's how we're, what we're looking at right now. Right. He's going to get something here. Club trying to make his way back to the center. Yeah. Ooh, oh, shot back around nice. his shield and he takes his stock. The crowd does a big ooh <laughs> in response. I know that's really uh, critical for Squid's mo uh, momentum and it mentality. Is. I'm sure he's happy about that. Oh. Okay. Right. And Plup cleans it up. It's going to be a three sock lead for Team Plup. SoCal D has Capri and Brandendorf left. It looks like Brandendorf's going to go up next. Right. His Ganondorf. Three sock lead for Plup. This is where it gets interesting. Yeah, it does, right? So SoCal D has eight stocks and Plup has 11. Okay, Ganon against Thomas. Depends. Yeah. No, no, not, not in a row. So, uh, as you guys know, of course, uh, this is going to be spurs throughout the day, so Plup gets a lot of rest. Even even if he beats this D team, there's going to be another two hours between him and against C team if, if he gets that far. Yeah. Uh, no, but we have uh, Ganon versus Samus. Uh, this matchup is, you know, a lot of people have uh, varied opinions about this. Right. I know Plup thinks that uh, Samus wins. He thinks that the missiles really destroy Ganondorf. Uh, whereas other people don't, th that. don't think that way, yeah. right? Uh, Ganon, when he gets uh, Samus in the air, it's, it's huge. That, that up air covers so much of her aerial momentum. Right. Um, and since she doesn't have that aerial mobility like a lot of other characters, she can get stuck up there really easily. Right. All right, Plup oh, starts strong cool. again. Yeah. Showing everyone that's not going to be easy, SoCal, taking this guy out. Yeah. Making a statement yeah, with this D team. A very strong player. Extremely yes, yes. strong player. Extremely strong player. A lot of respect here. I mean, we, we flew yeah. him out for a fraud fund, but yeah. I think a lot of people also just wanted to see him. The, the, the fraud in the fraud fund is just a joke. Yeah, we it's just a joke. We're not trying to really call people yeah. out. We just want to get good players out here <laughs> for some melee. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, dash tag. <laughs> you know, Brandon's doing a little bit of fight right now. I yeah. like it. A lot of Ganondorfs do like this matchup, though. They so do. Even if, even if it is Samus' matchup, and some people think that, then... Just because Ganondorf's are comfortable with it, it might give them an edge. Right. Comfortability, I think, matters most. Right, right. And experience. So he gets a big right. back here on Plup. He's just got to finish the stock off. Shouldn't be as hard for Ganon as it was for Falco. Just because Ganon's such a hard-hitting character. Right. But getting that hit is going to be so tough. He tries to get for a, go for a down B, but Plup sniffs it out. Once again, gets that sweet spot back here. Very nice. And a perfect edge guard. That Nair on stage, that's... Oh! Yikes. That was pretty stylish. I like that. Now, I like we that. were screaming for that shine back air. Florida was screaming for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, you know there's some kids in Florida right now watching yeah. this. <laughs> Cheer it on their boy. Right. And, and and to their credit, this is a big opportunity and a big statement that Plup could make. You it know, is. he's a top. Right. He's generally considered a top five East Coast player, right? Right. And if we could, we consider ourselves the best region. You know, we would we would win this or yeah. do at least really well, right? Right. So his performance is definitely being watched upon by both coasts. All right, Brandon takes stock. Good stuff. Oh. Now, Plup likes doing those forward airs on the platform, and he makes them really safe. He'll either space them or hit you with the up B out of shield. Yeah. He really knows how to use that move. The forward air itself does just a lot of damage. Right. It's a ton of damage on that forward air. Ooh. Brandon's moving kind of slick. Yeah, like definitely. Uh, back air in the face. And that narrow on stairs, like I said, it's going to be really tough for Ganon yeah. to make it back with that kind of option. Oh, but Plup misses it. It's going to be the opportunity that Brandon oh. needs. All right, forward air. Oh, oh, he goes all in. All in on that. We Brand, like that. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon really well there, but. All right, he gets back on stage. Ganon can take, eliminate stocks so quickly. Right. 
This could be the comeback that D team needs. Right. Brand holds on to this. Ah, but oh. that's up there. It's so tough. Okay. Cleaning this up and doing another, you know, some extra work on Plup's next next man. That'd be huge. Right. If he can take this, he yeah. can do exactly what you said. Plup's looking like he's not oh. going to let him. He oh, he gets oh, the charge shot and that. Oh, not quite it. Get it so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beats him on the with the hug. Ah, near off the top. How's it gonna? Oh! Oh! oh I thought he could have tipped this fight, but what no a check! Idea. Is he living? Strange. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. Oh! Well, what a what a good effort by Brandorf, though. Yeah. That was a great effort. So now so we have so nine stocks plup versus four stocks of just Capri left for for uh, SoCal D. Plup now, is doing really well so if far. If Capri is able to pull this off, then he has to be top five in SoCal. <laughs> he has to be like top five in the world at this point. Right. Nine stocks <laughs> on Plup with only four of his own. Right. What is that? That's like six stocking so exactly. <laughs> with four. <laughs> That's pretty rough. <laughs> okay, but right now he has to look at what what he has in front of him. He only has right. one Sama stock, right? right? He takes one out. And then if he just like double, he, he does a three stock and a two stock. That's effectively what he needs, right? Yeah. So he just needs a really, really good run. Yeah. And Capri's capable of it. I mean, he used to be ranked in uh, SoCal. He was inactive for a little bit of a period. Of course, he's also right. a Midwest player uh, right. at one point. Uh, known for team with Kells back yeah. in the day. Used to be consistent teams partners. Yeah, yeah. They were they were old school teams partners. You guys can yeah. see him in some old like FC footage. Yeah. Capri in the bag, young Capri with his like long hair. <laughs> Up getting an early start. Yeah. A lot oh. of spot dodges. <laughs> you don't really see Samus is like this often. No, we don't. Not because the <laughs> thing is, ever. we do have a lot of uh, hugs experience, but plus two different, different beasts. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're just beasts. so different. Okay. So Plup, Plup is looking really strong. Nine stocks to three. A lot of F tilt spacing. Look at this guy. So good. Making a statement. I really want, I really want Capri to take out this stock. <laughs> yeah, me too. At, at the very least, at the very least, I uh, think he not, should be able getting to nine do stock it. in a sixteen stock crew battle is pretty bad. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay that's how you take him. Sometimes you gotta take it that way. I pull up smiling at <laughs> all. Yep. But I will Capri tell you guys this. Plup really wants this. He really this, does. When, when I told him about the, an exhibition idea like this, it was like, I think more people want you know, want to play you, get an opportunity to play you. Right. Um, he was really excited. He said, he, I know he wants to make a statement with this. Right. It looks like he's going back to Fox. I mean, he has eight stocks to play with. He can yeah, go he Fox can. and then go Samus again. Yeah. It's crazy to think just how much work that one Samus man did, did you know? Exactly. He had four, he only had, in this crew battle, he only had four stocks in Samus. The exactly. other ones, he had his Fox. But that it still did that much up. work. Oh, he just waits. That's what, pretty much what he's best at. He knows how to wait out your moves, your rolls, whatever yeah. you're gonna throw out. Even as Fox, it's like Even as it's Fox. so funny to watch people play their secondary, uh, especially their secondary space animals, and they still kind of look like they're playing their main. Right. Yeah. But just because you know Fox is so versatile, he can kind of morph himself to be that playstyle. Right. Fox can kind of be played in the more optimal ways of the other characters as well. You know. Right. Just with higher kill power. And he has a tech skill for this. Yeah, look at that. A lot of Samus players are exclusive Samus players, but this yeah. guy, he plays multiple characters. Yeah, you gotta give him credit for that. And, and it makes sense. I mean, look at his Samus. His Samus is so fast. Right. As fast as, as, as Fox is, I think his Samus is even more technical. Exactly. You know, just because he's more comfortable there. Ah, back in the nice face. Backer. Good stuff, Kree. Oh. Ah, misses a ledge hop. Yeah. Forward hair. Oh. Whoa. Interesting. I option. love seeing Floyd here. Yeah, me too. The DJ Nintendo stuff? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Optimization. A lot of wave dash back again. He tries to bait a lot. Oh, oh PC! I, how do you do that? I can't do that. <laughs> PC Hedgehog? Yeah. That's hard, man. <laughs> that one was quick, too. So quick. Oh! Oh, too oh, high. Too high for set. Oh, and Plump makes it oh. back. Uh, Capri's got looking taking this one, yeah. one more sock. I know. Oh man, I know he wants to take this. Yeah. One. No, okay, there it is. He finally gets a kill. Yeah. Like, he did. He, this is the second stock that he's taken, but that's his first kill. Now. Oh, there it is. Oh. oh. Capri, oh. do it. We, 
<laughs> okay, well, that was cool. I, I like that he went for it. <laughs> I like that he went for it. He's a good guy. Look at Bluff smiling. Yeah, seven stock lead. You pretty much got to go for the show. <laughs> got to go for the goal, dude. Now, it'll be interesting to see. Oh, the moonwalk. And Plump takes an emphatic <laughs> win over the D team. Right. Now he was a favorite for that one. He was. I think no, you know, no one's surprised. SoCal's not surprised, but right. you know, seven stocks. That's a statement, especially <laughs> since he did a lot of it as Fox. Yeah. You know, saying he's way above that level, guys. That was one Fox no. stock, or one one Fox life, one Samus life, and then another another Fox, Fox life, and that's all it took, right? right. Seven stocked. That's solid. C team's gonna be coming up next. I'm gonna tweet out the different teams soon. Um, okay, and now we're go now we're gonna go back to teams. I'm gonna hop right. off commentary, go back to TOing. Alright guys, all right. I hope you guys enjoy that one. Again, tweet it out. We have this exhibition all day.